Welcome to Good Morning ACS. I'm Luca. And I'm Alia. And you're and are watching this week's news and updates. <laughs> the lower school art exhibition was impressive. Enjoy this quick tour of the... Exams have begun for our grade 10, 12, and 12 students. Grade 11 exams begin on the 28th of May. Good luck to you all. On May 22nd, art, music, and design students will host their exhibition. Join us at 5.30 to see the grade 11 artwork. Enjoy some performances from music, students, and see what MYP designers and visual artists have created. ACS Got Talent editions are starting. See the posters around the school for more information. Netball season has begun, and the team would love your support. MHS netball match schedule is as follows. Their first match is Sunday the 21st of May from 1 to 5 p.m. That's for the grade 8s in the KESS tournament at Doha College. Monday, 22nd of May is 1 to 5 p.m. as well. Grade 7, the KESS tournament and Doha, at Doha College as well. On Tuesday the 23rd of May from 1 to 5 p.m., the grade 6 will play at Doha College for the, their KESS tournament. Join us at home on Tuesday 6th of June from 12 to 2.30 p.m., the grade 6, 7, and 8 match versus Newton at ACS Sports Hall last netball matches on tuesday 16th of may grade six seven and eight netball versus gems is against gems yesterday grade eight won 14 two grade seven one nine seven and grade six lost five four a great result for grade six it was their first ever netball match there is a home match on wednesday 17th of may versus death the grade six won 13 13- Hi, my name is Mohammed, and thanks for listening to Game of the Week. In Minecraft, you can explore your own unique world, survive the night, and create anything you can imagine. It's on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, iPad, I- iPad OS, Xbox 360, Raspberry Pi, Windows Phone, PlayStation 3, Fire OS, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation Vita, Wii U, Apple TV, t- TV OS, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS, and is rated E for everyone. I'm Luca, and each week we will ask you difficult would you rather questions. Last time we asked, would you rather be able to speak every language or be the best mathematician? The results are in. This was a hard one for our viewers. It's a tie. Can't we do both? Can we please speak every language and be math geniuses? The would you rather question for this week is, would you rather live in the clouds or underwater? Please share your name, grade, and your answer to the would you rather by email to goodmorningacs at gmail.com to be reviewed next week. We look forward to your thoughts. Welcome to Jokes Week with Alia Jaffe. Why do magicians do well in school? They're good at trick questions. <laughs> How did the music teacher get kicked out of the, locked out of their classroom? Their keys were on the piano. <laughs> What contests do skunks win at school? The smelling bee. (laughs) That's all I have for you today, and I hope that you have a great week. Are you looking for new books to read? Here's this week's recommendation from our lower school students. Good Good morning, ACS! Hello, my name is Elise, and I have, uh, we recently have read, uh, in our enrichment group, we've recently read a book uh, called Somewhere Among by Annie Downworth Chikimatsu. It is a really good book, and this is our book review, so maybe you could read this while you have nothing to do or during Ramadan. Emma is a girl who moved away from the the country because um, she was expecting to have another sibling. She does not like the idea of moving because she had to leave her school and her friends. And she had to go uh, live with her really strict grandmother who who has so much expectations on her. So hi, my name is Shania and I'm going to be giving my personal, like my personal uh, experience and review of this book. So I would, I would, and like who I would recommend this book to. So first off, I would like recommend it to people who like realistic fiction and people who love like slow burn books. Slow burn is like time consuming, okay? It's like time consuming books, but it's really good. And I would like out of 10, I would rate it like a nine out of 10. Let's restart, she forgot to, she can. Hi, I'm Mohammed. 
Today I'm going to do a review on the book named Threads. The author is Amy Polensky and I would recommend this book to people who love mysteries. Hi, my name's Emma. And my name's Oscar. We, um, and this book has loads of mysteries and cliffhangers. It, um, it's about two, um, two people in totally different countries, America and China, but their lives are connected in one, in, why by one piece of paper. This book has mysteries on every page, and, and, and Clara, one of the main characters, sister's sister has died, and, and that is a big event that happens in the story. This is, uh, hello, I'm your dad, and this is grade four and five from Richmond Signing Class. Thank you for joining us this week for our weekly news and updates. If you have an idea for a new story or updates to share, please email us at goodmorningacs.gmail.com. Have a great week.